So, but before we jump in, I just want to let you know that um, Facebook has integration problems. So if you're not able to see this um, or, you know, um, see it on Facebook or for whatever reason, there's integration problems within live streaming, uh, within Facebook. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm not going to be monitoring Facebook anymore. I might go back and take a look at the comments if there's any comments. But you can join me on Twitter at Snyder Dan at Snyder Dan. That's um, S N I D E D E R D A N Snyder Dan at Snyder Dan. Join me on Twitter. I am monitoring the Twitter uh, account, um, so you can um, be able to join me there, or you can always join me at PeakWorship.com under live stream. That's that's actually the best platform to um, make sure that you always see me, that you're always um, there, that that you're always going to be able to get PDJ or prayer or anything else. Is go right to um, the peakworship.com live stream. You can also download um, our app um, so you can live stream through our app you, as well as through BoxCast, which we um, live stream through BoxCast. So I just want to let you know, so if you're commenting uh, on, commenting on, on Facebook or anything like that, uh, I'm not going to be seeing it or monitoring it. We are um, doing a live through Facebook as long as Facebook's integration is fine as well as as long as they don't cut us off because we've been cut off before. So that being said, you can always join me at Twitter at Snyder Dan. Um, you can join us at peakworship.com, uh, you know, as well, uh, you know, as Instagram sometimes. So, so be consistent, peakworship.com, live stream. Love you guys. PDJ, prayer, devotion, and journaling. I titled this, Deny Yourself, Deny Yourself. And we're going to read from Matthew 16. And I want you to just open your heart, open your minds as we read these scriptures and just see what... Holy Spirit is speaking to you. It says, Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself. Let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? Then I, I want us to read a couple more scriptures here before we jump in. Matthew 10, 39. He who finds his life will lose it, and he who loses his life for my sake will find it. Luke 9, 23. Then he said to them all, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. These are some tough words. These are, are, are great examples of what we should be living like and and how we should be living and what Jesus is actually explaining to us what what discipleship what following him actually is going to entail i want you to go a little bit further because in the roman empire a convicted criminal uh when he when he was taken to be crucified was forced to carry his own cross this showed publicly that he was then under the submission Submissive to the rule he had been opposing. So in the Romans days, the thief or the individual that was going to be crucified heading to Calvary was picking up the cross. And that was uh, you know, to the public uh, being submissive to the authority that they were opposing. They were opposing the law. So when Jesus says that deny yourself and pick up your own cross, it is that publicly displaying that my flesh comes against the word of God. My flesh does not want to serve the Lord. My flesh, you know, and, and my being before I was serving the Lord, you know, is it an example of me picking up my cross for Jesus, for his sake, following his commandments, doing what God has called me to do. That's a public display. My lifestyle should be a public display to others who I am submitting to, who I am, am submitting my authority, who I'm surrendering to. Does your lifestyle show who you're submissive to? The disciples, they did. Did they fall short? Absolutely. Did they they run at times? Absolutely. Did they get back up and dust themselves off? Absolutely. Are we able to dust ourselves off and pick ourselves back up? Absolutely. I want you to understand that, that our lifestyle is picking up the cross and it should 
be an example and it should portray and illuminate who we are submitting ourselves to. Let's go a little bit further because I, I want us to understand this. Because Matthew 16, I'll go right back to verse 24 and 25. If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whosoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Deny is disassociate oneself from. So we need to disassociate ourselves from what our desires, um, our will, um, maybe our wants, maybe uh, something that, that's not of God, lust, a fleshly, a fleshly thing. We need to, to deny ourselves of those, and we need to start picking up God's will in and, and His way. And the word to save right there means to rescue. If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it. That means to rescue. How, how can I rescue my life? How can I save my life? I'm saved by grace. It's not of my works. You are saved by grace, not of your works. How are we going to be able to rescue ourselves from evil, from harm? It's only God. It's God's ways. What God is saying is this is a beautiful, beautiful parable, beautiful picture, beautiful uh, saying that Jesus is saying is I, I just need you to surrender all to me. Can you just surrender all? Can you just surrender your flesh, your desires, your wants, you know, your abilities? That you know, it's not your abilities that's going to save you. It's it's His. It's it's His righteousness that 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 cleanses us. It's His blood that cleanses us. I want you to take a look at your life and and. Ask yourself, is there an area in your life that you have not denied, have not surrendered something to the Lord, that you've not denied something to the Lord? Maybe it's your will. Maybe it's your thoughts. Maybe it's your wisdom. Maybe it's you and your opinions. Maybe maybe it's your, your lust. Maybe it's your, your job. Maybe it's your kids. Maybe it's something. How far are you willing to go with this cross? with following? How, 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 how far are you willing to, to go with your life? How, how far are you willing to, to, to serve God? How far? Till it comes to the point where, oh, you know, I, I really like to shop here, uh, but you're saying that I, I shouldn't because they're not aligned with the word of God. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and shop there anyway. I'm going to go to the enemies. Can't take back. What, what excuses, what things are we using? Are, are you willing to go to Disney World knowing where they stand? Or are you willing to say, you know, I'm going to boycott that. I'm a, you know, I'm just using these as examples. Because maybe it's taking care of your temple. And your temple's not being taken care of because God makes it very clear that this temple we need to take care of. That's the reason why I, I've, I, I'm dieting right now. I'm not dieting. I'm doing a life change. I've been a yo-yo all my life. And, and now it's time to get back and, and, and get healthy and, and stay healthy. And it's called a lifestyle because i, I got to deny some things. i got to deny some chocolates. i got to deny the breads. i got to deny some carbs because I, I want to be healthy and follow him. What is in your life that, that you've stopped short of following him? What have you turned back away that, you, you know, from following Jesus that you could easily say no to? The cross is where the flesh dies and God lives. That's power in that. Pick up our cross daily. That means we need to die daily. We need to die. Did you understand what Jesus did on the cross? We, we've been talking about that. We talked about that last Sunday, that it, it, it's a, it reveals suffering. It reveals sacrifice. And, and my wife in, in the wake, what a beautiful message she had in the wake Friday. you got to go get that message and you got to uh, listen to it. But in, in a wake, she says, you know what? You know, are, are we intimate with the Lord? And, and where it goes from the cross is absolutely having a reverence and a respect of what God did at the cross. And we, we, we see that at the cross that, that Jesus, he, he died. The flesh died. He didn't spiritually die, but he was able to resurrect himself. Amen. He was able to, to, to rise himself back into, a, 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 you know, to set at the right hand side of our father. What, am, what are you saying, pastor? I, I'm trying to tell you that, that it's at the cross. If I pick up my cross daily, that means self and flesh 
pride, everything that is, is against God's word will die right there on that cross. And when that dies, that means I'll live. That means the Spirit, Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God that lives within us will raise us, resurrect us that day, each and every day to live according to His word. That I shall live. I shall have joy. I shall have peace. Because that's what died on the cross was the flesh. He had to pay that price. The flesh had to die. There had to be a sacrifice. Let's sacrifice this flesh each and every day. Let's go to the cross each and every day and have a reverence for what God did that He, He was the beautiful example of what we need to do each and every day. That this flesh needs to die each and every day. And I need to pick up my cross. My cross. Just as the thieves carried their cross and it was a public um, portray of, look, I, I was opposed to the law, but now I'm submissive to the law and I'm on the way to Calvary. We can pick up our cross and allow everyone to know, allow our lifestyle to be an example of picking up that cross and allow everyone to know publicly who we serve. I was opposed against Jesus because of this flesh, but I receive him as Lord and Savior. I let the flesh die on this cross and I'm walking it out and picking up this cross as a beautiful picture to everyone in this world, a public figure picking up this cross of who I'm submissive to, my Lord and Savior, my Jesus, my King of Kings. I, I, I think that we can all do that. I think that we all need to do that. And I think it's a beautiful picture of, of a lifestyle, picking up our cross, that everyone knows each and every day that my flesh died right here at this cross. Right here, first thing when I got up this morning, my flesh died at this cross in reverence to Him. And I, I have no problem picking up my cross and allowing my lifestyle to be a public example of who I serve. I submit, I surrender, Surrender to my King of kings and my Lord of lords. What's in your life today that needs to be submitted, that needs to surrender, that needs to die? I'll bet you we can always think of something. I know I can. Each and every day, I, I need to make sure that, that that is taken care of, that that flesh is, is removed. And it's not my will, it's His will. That it's not you know, lust, it's not envy, it's not jealousy, it's not pride, it's not arrogance, it's not my desires. It, it's, it's what He desires for me. 2 Timothy 2.13, and I'll leave you with this. If we are faithless, He remains faithful. He cannot deny Himself. Wow. He cannot die. That means he cannot act outside of his characteristics, his attributes. That means we have a king of kings and a lord of lords that's going to be the same yesterday, today, and forever. Why do I tell you that? Is because even in the midst of our lack of faithfulness, he is still faithful. That means I can come to him. I can surrender at any time. I can pick myself up at any time. And I will be forgiven. I will be loved. And, and He will help me. He will pick up my burdens. He will dust me off. He will cover me with His blood. <laughs> I'm here to tell you that we can have a lifestyle that surrenders to this cross. That we pick up this cross each and every day. That we surrender at the feet of Jesus. That we submit to Him. And publicly we can walk this out. Even if it's to death, even if it's to death, I'd much rather die serving Jesus than serving my desires because he's the only one that can resurrect. He's the only one that can forgive. Uh, he's the only one that is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. He is the only way. Let's submit, surrender. Let's deny ourselves. We can't save ourselves. Let's deny ourselves and let him save us and let his will be done each and every day. And then we'll live. We'll live with joy and a peace. We'll live in happiness. I'll bet you there's someone out there that's listening to me today that you really haven't found your purpose, your plan, your hope that God has for you. And I'll bet you the reason why you haven't found that is because you haven't surrendered your will your passions, whatever it might be. I'll bet you you haven't been to the cross and laid everything down at the feet of Jesus. I'll bet you you haven't allowed that flesh to die. Because when it says, if I die, it, that I will live. And if I live for Him, and it's His will, He'll fill me. And until I came to know Him, until I, I denied myself and, and allowed Him to, to live in me and guide me, direct me, I never knew my purpose or plan. 
You only know your purpose or plan when we deny the flesh, when we surrender and pick up our cross and walk according to his will, his purpose that he has for each and every one of us. Amen. I hope you receive PDJ. I hope you, you get it. I, I, there's so much more, but um, I just like to keep it short because I know a lot of people is on their lunch breaks um, at this time. But I just, an encouraging word that we are able to deny ourselves and we need to deny ourselves. We need to surrender to God and we need to pick up our cross and allow that to be a public figure to everyone that we come in contact with, who we are submitting ourselves to, who we surrender to, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. And doing that, we'll find our purpose and our plan that God has for us. That means we'll be able to wake up each and every morning with a passion and a hope and a desire that he has put in us. Not that, not of us, but that he has put in us. And we will wake up each and every morning knowing what our King and Kings and our Lord Lords wants for us each and every day. And it makes it easier that when we walk through the valley, we walk through the furnace, we walk in the lion's den, or whether we're in the palace, we stay consistent because he is our King of Kings. I won't have to live like a yo-yo because it's his will because I've surrendered everything. It's the flesh that lives like a yo-yo. I don't like to live like a yo-yo. I've done that. That's why I surrendered. So my life is consistent. It's growing from glory to glory in him, in the name of Yeshua. Father, we thank you for this PDJ. We thank you for the, your word. We thank you, Father God, Lord, that you gave specific directions, Father God, Lord, to deny ourselves, that we're not able to rescue ourselves, Father God. So, Lord, today we choose to deny. We choose to surrender, Father God, Lord, everything right here, Father God, Lord, at your feet, right here, that we allow the flesh to die right here at this cross, that we're willing to pick up this cross as a public figure, Father God, Lord, to each and every individual, that our lifestyle will be an example will illuminate who we serve, that we serve you, Yeshua. We ask you to forgive us of our sins. We ask you to guide us and direct us. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen. God is good. God is good. Hey, once again, make sure that um, for some reason, if you can't see us on Facebook or or. Uh, Anytime at all, make sure you can go to at Snyder Dan for Twitter. If you don't have Twitter, go get a Twitter account, sign up. Um, I'm always going live on Twitter uh, as well. It's an extra option. They're not cutting me off. I can say what I want. But more than anything, go to peakworship.com, live stream, or download our app or BoxCast, and you can always get us there. Always. And you can make comments and suggestions, submit prayer requests, whatever it is. So um, just jump off of Facebook and go of, onto another platform. That way you'll always be able to see us. Amen. Love you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys have a great day praying for you. And I'll see you when? No Bible study this week. Second Wednesday of the month. No Bible study. But right back here Thursday morning for prayer. And then Sunday service. Bible basics and Sunday service 10 a.m. Love you guys. Have a great, great week. Bye-bye.